Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. This is our brand new Little Treat stamp set and Little Treat box dies. So Poodles Advent Countdown is starting on Monday and I will be featuring Christmas projects. And I do have one using this, but it's towards the end of the series. So I kind of thought, oh, I want to get it out to you. So I'm showing it to you now. So very sweet, very cute, um, very easy to put together. Um, because you're die cutting on mass, so that's what I'm going to do. Please, Barry, don't get in yet another video. I, she's honestly this cat. She's been in every video for the past goodness knows how many weeks, I think. Um, so this is the main die. Yes, you could make your own boxes by cutting and scoring because it's two inches, two inches by three inches. You could do that, but if you've got lots to make. This is just, it's a time saver, a bit like the tiny, uh, the mini curvy keepsake. So I've got some uh, Wonder of wonder of the Season, or is it Tis the Season? I think this one's called Tis the Season, but it's six by six paper because perfect fit. Okay, so oh, I love my new cut and emboss. It's so lovely. It's brilliant. Can't wait for the mini one. That's coming out in, in, quite a way off. Um, but I like this one. It's such a space saver. Oh, it really is. Okay, so there's my piece of six by six. And these do fit. You do just have to double check that you're not going off any edges. So I can see I'm fine there. And then my clear plate over the top. I'm just double checking it's still okay. Yep, good to go. So I'm just gonna send that through. And what this is going to do, this die, it die cuts and puts in score lines as you need. There you go, straight through, oh, like butter. Right, so let's move that out to one side. And there are a couple of things I wanted to share with you about this. So gently fold your score lines. Don't go burnishing them with a bone folder. I don't feel you need that. I feel it just simply needs a bend and press with your fingers. That's enough. So, I'm going to burnish all of them. And what you may or may not be able to see, possibly see it on this side better, is there's a little slot there and there is a little hook. Now those don't go into one another, they go into the ones on the opposite side. So that one, this little part here, goes inside this slot here. So I'm not going to try and do that up in the air because, you know, that's fun for nobody. I'm going to do it down, down on my table. So pop those in like so. And now you simply fold it up and close it with some ribbon. But I'm not mad keen on this gaping. So a little bit of glue, uh, seal or seal plus, doesn't really matter. A couple of little stripes of that. And just fold it up like that. Put your fingers inside and we're all good. And it just stops that gaping. Like I say, it's not necessary, it's not essential, but if you would prefer that that gaping didn't happen, that's what you want to do, okay? Right, so that's my bag made. And I've got the new braided linen trimmer. This is real red, but my holly berries are actually um, cherry cobbler. I don't mind, I can handle that. It's a nice thin red ribbon. That was what I was after. So. going to tie a bow. There's no front and back to this box, obviously by the fact that it's die cut and they're identical. How did I get my knot? How did I get my knot to go the wrong way? I don't even know what I've done there with that knot. There we go. So there's no front and back, so if you get your ribbons going all wibbly everywhere, it's okay. There's no front and back. Right, so there's my wibbly ribbons. Now, obviously, it does come with a matching stamp set, and it's kind of a for all season. So we've got the very Christmassy one here and here, and the baubles. Um, we've got sweets here. We've got um, a spider. We've got a wedding ring. We've got flowers, and we've got bunting. So it's not just for Christmas. I am going to do Christmas because you know holly berries. 
So I want, I don't know if I want to go for the present or if I want to go for Father Christmas's hat. I might go for his hat and I want that one. So I need some Whisper White. Here we go. So I'm going to go a little treat for someone sweet, which is there. And then Father Christmas's hat. And I am going to go cherry cobbler, even though the ribbon is red. That's okay. I, you know, I can be choosy. Oh, that's Cajun craze. That's not even cherry cobbler. No, I'm ch no changing my mind. Real red. <laughs> so Father Christmas's hat in some lovely real red. And then my greeting, I'm going to put over the other side because I need to get my uh, scallop circle die around it. And scooch all of that out of the way. Bring my machine back. Oh, it's picked it up. If you didn't see my video on Friday, it's got these sort of rubber feet that stop it slipping around. And it's apparently picked up some gold, some gold foil. Okay. Right, so I don't have magnetic platforms for this. And so what I'm going to do is old school. I'm going proper old school. I don't know if you can see that bit of camera there. With post-it notes. That's the way we all used to do it, wasn't it? Post-it notes. Make sure that's in place. And but yeah, before magnetic platforms became a thing, we all use post-it notes to hold our dies in place. Retro. Let's have a little bit of nostalgia. I will be getting a magnetic platform as soon as I can. Okay. Send those through. What you could do is you could, if you were making loads of these, um, you could have a die cutting session and it was last summer as um, thank you gifts one particular month I die cut everybody all of my lovely customers I die cut them all a mini curvy keepsake which was the new um, the new one of these that year and I sent them to everybody so that they could get a, a good idea of what the size was and we were on holiday at the time I put that in wrong way around we were on holiday at the time, so I took my die cutting machine and my dies and all my paper. So I needed four packs of paper. It was a six by six I used then because I die cut 160 of them. I did it watching a movie. So, yeah, if you were making lots of these en masse for gifts, treats, I don't know, maybe even um, decorations for your tree, just sit and crank them out one night with some telly on. Right, where are my dimensionals? So I'm going to pop one on there a little treat for someone sweet these are good they do hold little chocolate bars you know those, those little ind individually wrapped bars um i'm not talking like mini mars bars and things but little individually wrapped chocolates like green and blacks great in there and there we go sweet super sweet pun totally intended little treat for someone sweet I think they're very charming, so I'm glad I'm showing them to you. Like I said, I have got more projects, but Poodle's Advent Countdown does start on Monday, so um, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell icon as well, because there are going to be five videos a week, every day, Monday through Friday, for five solid weeks, so you don't want to miss it. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.